The TEA releasing data on Monday showing Texas students slip significantly in reading and math scores on the STAR test, including students in Amarillo ISD. KAMR Local 4's Jed Baker has more on how the district looks to catch kids up. We, we normally don't have drops. We look for increases. That's how Amarillo ISD's David Bishop, the assistant superintendent of high schools, describes a typical year with the STAR test. We were honestly expecting a decrease because of the pandemic in math scores. Um, was it more than we thought? Maybe a little. Bishop says the math scores are where the district saw the largest decrease across the board. Our English scores were rather flat. It, it did have a small drop but not near as much as our math. Which matches what the rest of the state is seeing. In a statement, the TEA says in part, quote, as a subject area, mathematics reflects the largest decline in proficiency across all grade levels. While those numbers aren't what they're looking for, the data is helping them figure out where to fill the gap. The STAR testing this year, it did give us information on, on where kids' gaps will, will be. So yes, that we will have interventions provided for the kids that need that in order to fill in what was lost in the, the pandemic year that, that we've just gone through. We are not adding school days, but we are adding optional days. Um, we have Saturday schools that we'll be offering during the year. We'll also have expanded summer offerings beginning in the summer of 22. Bishop says they will have time for any student that needs it to get caught up, not just those that have a large learning gap, but those who also need extra time for AP or dual credit courses. Live in studio, Judd Baker, KAMR Local 4 News. Jackie. Judd, thank you. Bishop says one thing they found was that the pandemic didn't just affect some students, it affected all of them across the board.